Hey everyone, you are here with 4GQ TV. We are about to watch the Captain America Brave New World trailer. We're excited for the movie. We're hyped. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Yeah. See, that, that's where they explain the mustache there, why it's gone. Yep. yep. Seems like Thaddeus Ross is the president now, so uh, I wonder how that election went. <laughs> Looks like overwhelmingly positive for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Got some good scenes there. Okay, looks like they're celebrating. It's kind of a weird. Uh oh. Hey, that's Isaiah Bradley. Okay, he he came in in a uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Uh, told his story a little bit on what happened to him. Okay, so I wonder why he would try to assassinate Thaddeus Ross, the president. He must know something. Or, or somebody... unless, or he's brainwashed. Yeah, he be brainwashed, or somebody forced him to do it. Maybe somebody has his family. Um. And did they force him to do it? There's a whole bunch of different things. Uh, he could have been uh, brainwashed, you know, like they did to, uh, to Winter Soldier. You are not Steve Rogers. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Whoa. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You got to show who you are. You're not Steve Rogers. Okay, we got the we got Danny Ramirez as the new Falcon. All right, chills. Oh, <laughs> Red Hulk. Yeah, that looks Red so good. Hulk. And if you if you do that in slow motion, the Red Hulk thing, like it looks like Harrison Ford's face. So it it looks pretty cool. I've seen little clips of that. I'm I'm really excited for this. I think this is going to be a great Marvel movie. I think it's coming back to the action like that what you want from superhero movies. It looks like it's pretty much nonstop action with a little bit of, you know, political drama in there kind of like the comic books, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited for it. I'm I'm really excited and I guess that's how they explain the character Ross getting rid of the mustache is he had to get rid of it for the election because Harrison Ford maybe didn't want to grow a mustache. Yeah, you know, yeah, let's get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Paris, tell me, what do you think that what do you think from what you see in the trailer might happen in this movie? Who do you think we're going to be introduced to? Uh, well, looking at the cast, you know, we there's there's some things that they didn't show. Um, and luckily enough, we're going to San Diego Comic Con, so we're going to be there. And hopefully, Marvel Studios does something there. So we'll maybe we we'll, maybe we'll find out there. But um, we didn't see Betty Ross, who's returning. Liv Tyler's re, uh, re uh, her character's coming back, which then means she was a love interest of Bruce Banner, which is the Hulk. Um, we saw the Red Hulk. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Hulk is going to come back and he's going to get his his shine. But that's just my personal opinion. We'll see. I'm sure we're going to have some cameos from other characters. Uh, uh, maybe not too much, but something that's going to lead us into uh, the uh, the Thunderbolts. So something that's going to be connected there on the Thunderbolts, you know, that that super hero team. I don't know. They're, they're maybe trying to rebuild the Avengers with this, with the Thunderbolts. So we'll see. Um, and then the Red Hulk. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited, super excited. This is the first Captain America solo movie since Civil War. Um, you know, in Civil War, they had almost, it was like almost like an Avengers film, right? So they had everybody in it, but they were fighting each other for political reasons and the, accord the, 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 the accords and all that stuff. But ever since Endgame, I'm sure all that stuff went to shreds. Um, we're just looking forward to sort of like how... Uh, uh, Sam Wilson is going to uh, pan out to be the new Captain America in this in this new world, right? They're, they're calling it a brave new world. Like, like this is the new world. Mr. Wilson has to come out and and be Captain America. And then he actually told General Ro well, President Ross, you know, what if we don't see eye to eye on something? Like, how are we going to resolve that? You know, just how the the the, the accords went, right? Uh, back then, General Ross turned Captain America, Steve Rogers, Falcon, Sam Wilson, Black Widow. Um, he turned them all into uh, into uh, 
and to villains where they were wanted by the uh, CIA and FBI. So they were on the run for years and years and years until what is it? Uh, until uh, Infinity War. So yeah, man, I'm looking, I'm looking, looking pretty high on this movie, especially the fact that they sort of go in the, and they're grounding the characters a little bit, right? They're going back. It's had a lot of the cosmic stuff, which I did like, but I, I like the sort of Winter Soldier, Captain America Winter Soldier vibes, the political issues, the the back channel deals, the the who's telling the truth, who's lying, you know, um, all that stuff, you know, people being used as pawns. And you heard him say that in the in the whoever's voice that was in the trailer, you're being used as a pawn, right? You know, those sort of things, you know. And you know, Sam Wilson, you know, he's got a he already went through a lot of that, right? Uh, so now he's got to figure out sort of like for himself um, how he can um, become more of a hero himself and take on that mantle of being Captain America. So Carlo, how do you feel about this movie? How was the trailer? Did you get any chills? Are you ready for this movie to come yeah. out? Yeah, I'm ready for this movie. I wish it'd come out tomorrow because this is this seems like a Marvel movie is going to bring people back into the theaters. And there's a lot of nice Easter eggs in this movie. And I've watched the several different channels break down the trailer. And mm. there's a couple different theories here. But one thing that I really do like the fact is that Thaddeus Ross is in this and that he becomes a Red Hulk at the end. Like you can actually see it's like Harrison Ford's face. And I like the fact that the celestial being, the adamantium, is all part of this plot. I like, you know, how there's just so much political turmoil, right? With Isaiah Bradley's character, G.W. Bridges, Giancarlo Esposito. I mean, he's a fantastic actor as it is. And that character makes you think of the X-Force and what else could come in with this. What kind of other Easter eggs could come in with this? And, right. you know, then we saw the scene with... uh uh Betty Ross and like the funeral scene mm. and it's like okay so is this supposed to be Steve Rogers funeral or is this Bruce Banner's funeral like they don't really tell you who it is right so you kind of speculate and and two different channels have two different theories one's like oh it could be Bruce Banner others like no it could be Steve Rogers because they never found Steve Rogers body so curious now like who is that and the green guy obviously is the leader you know, the down below room and the the uh, it's like a torture. torture chamber. It's been, yeah, yeah. It looks it looks kind of really cool and unique. It, it, it gives you like kind of Hydra vibes a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, OK, so the leader now I'm thinking the leader is playing political games with politicians and maybe and just maybe he took over Isaiah Bradley's mind. Mm. Yeah, yeah, maybe he captured him um, and or forcing him to do something that he doesn't want to do. Somehow he's he's uh, he's doing that. Right. Um, well, there was that scene where uh, Sam Wilson was talking to President Ross and he said, either you don't either your inner circle has been compromised or you don't care that has been compromised. So, you know, does he care or is there some sort of hidden agenda that the president now has? Um Maybe he was being experimented on too, um, because remember in the previous movies that they that he was in, he said he was dealing with a, a heart condition, so he was already sort of on the already had some medical problems and all that other stuff. So maybe this was a way to try to keep him keep himself alive. But and and the drawback is he turns into the Red Hulk and probably has no control over himself like uh, sometimes Bruce Banner does. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait. Yeah, it looks pretty exciting. You know, and I have a far-fetched conspiracy theory on this. And you're going to say, right, no, right. no, it's not happening. Right. It's not all happening. Right, all right, juggernaut, but, no. <laughs> hey, listen, no, if they brought the juggernaut, it's like 100 out of 10 right there. Mate. I mean, just put the juggernaut. You know, he could probably fight the Red Hulk. You know, right. he probably he could. could. He probably he could. could. He could. No, but I'm thinking... And this is a far-fetched theory, and some Marvel fans might be like, I'm off my rocker right here. But <laughs> I like Psylocke, and they mentioned Japan. Mm -hmm. Psylocke is, you know, kind of put in the mind of the Japanese assassin, Quanin. So could we see maybe a little teaser of Psylocke for a future episode or a future movie, something with Psylocke? I don't know. Yeah. But I do remember... And fans, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but every time I remember Psylocke, I do remember covers of Psylocke with pink flowers around them, mm. right? 
there's been a lot of pink flowers in this trailer. So maybe maybe I'm not that far off. Maybe oh, I'm yeah. right. Maybe I'm right. <laughs> Yeah, you have a point. You have a point. They did do a zoom up in the office where he walked by the little, I don't know if they're cherry blossoms or what, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may have, you may be on to something. You may be on to something or you may not be, but hey, hey, this is what it's all about though. Our fandom um, allows us to go down these uh, paths because we like being spoiled. Well, no, we don't like being spoiled. We like, you know, taking random guesses on things and, and, uh, and we don't like to be spoiled. We like to know what's going on after we watch it so we can then go down another rabbit hole and just continue our fandom because there's just so much good things that these movies bring. Um, and, and if you're a comic book fan, there's so many stories that it can pull from and you can just notice the intricacies of, the, of, the, uh, of, of how they're creating these stories and stuff like that, which is, which is cool. So um, I, I like the shout out to the comics of the whole Sam Wilson angles being Captain America. Um, they easily could have went with Bucky as Captain America also because Bucky was Captain America. So this is, uh, they're, they're playing off that and what's going on in the world. Um, you know, Earth has been battered. Um, you know, they've got this big, huge alien. I don't even know if it is a robot <laughs> sticking out of the Earth um from eternals so everybody who's seen this movie everybody uh uh the marvel has heard the or seen the memes is marvel ever going to address this and they finally will so uh we'll see sort of like what happens with that i'm sure antimanium was going to be involved in that maybe that thing is made out of it and they figured out a way to steal it and people have been pillaging um like i said the whole black market the whole and that's what I like about this. They're grounding the characters and sort of like some real world stuff that we can that we can really understand. Like, okay, yeah, there's some back channels, there's some some plots going on, there's somebody backstabbing, there's political sort of drama, and there's all this stuff happening, and who's really who's really doing what and and all that stuff, right? Um, so I'm I'm excited for it. I can't wait. I just want to see it like tomorrow because <laughs> I think this is the Marvel movie we need. I really think this is something that's going to get people back to the theater. It's going to get fans excited. We're going to want to know what happens after this, where it's connected to what it's connected, you know, like the whole universe all over again. Like, and this could be the perfect soft reboot to some great deep anchored story that we right. need. Yeah. Yeah. Like Deadpool and uh, Wolverine that comes out, um, we'll be in San Diego for that. So uh, uh, we'll go check it out there. Uh, and that's sort of going to be the, hey, Marvel. I want to say, I'm not going to say Marvel's not back because they, they've they done some pretty good content with their shows. Falcon and Winter Soldier, um, the, uh, the Moon Knight. Um, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Uh, uh, WandaVision um uh what if all those all those have been great so I'm, I'm not really on going out there to say oh marvel's back um sort of thing they've done a lot of good stuff um and and have some pretty compelling stories um over the past uh, few years since the last marvel movie so um well i'm gonna say the last last marvel movie but they've had some things in there that, i mean they haven't hit home runs on everything when it comes to their theater their theater releases but they've had some good stuff out there so i'm gonna say marvel is back i just think these stories now are going to put them at the level that they were on um, prior to um, some of the stuff that they uh, previously released in the movies. So yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I can't wait. So hope everybody that's watching this, check this out. Also, if you didn't know, I think Marvel's coming back strong because I hear according to the SDCC blog that Kevin Feige will be at a panel at San Diego comic-con. So oh, yeah. That says something that Marvel's got something that they're cooking with. That's going to be epic. It's going to be great. I mean, they're back, man. They are back. Yes. Be sure to go watch Captain America and Brave New World. This is cool, man. I got this uh, from Hot Toys. So this is one of the, the Captain America uh, Hot Toys toys. So go buy one. <laughs> they're pretty cool. Kevin Feige at San Diego Comic Con is epic. So if that's going to happen, we'll be there. Uh, we're we're going to uh, geek out on all the things. We're going to talk to all the comic book artists and all our favorite artists and all that other stuff. So it's going to be awesome. 
All right, everyone, we'll drop your thoughts in the comments below what you think might happen in this movie, where it's going to lead, which cameos we might see, is Psylocke, um, and whatever else. <laughs> Hulk. <laughs>